Um, how's it going guys? My name is Kevin. Today I'm going to be reviewing Brain on Fire, My Month of Madness by, I'm probably going to butcher her last name, but Susanna Callahan. Um, so I'm not entirely sure how I'm going to format this, but uh, I plan on doing the, uh, uh, I guess I'll start out by reading the synopsis of the book, which is in the back of the paperbacks, or if you have a hardcover like this, um, it's going to be in the tongue here of the cover page, so right there. Uh, it's going to be what you read whenever you first pick up the book, it's not really spoiling anything. Um, so it's going to be in the back of the book, the summary, or if you're buying the book online then it's going to be in, likely in the description if you're ordering off Amazon or something. Um, let me just start off with the price point. Uh, this book is sixteen dollars, so uh, sixteen U.S. dollars, uh, eighteen ninety nine Canadian. Okay, I'm sure you might be able to find it online for cheaper or something. But uh, let's start off with the synopsis. That's the price for the paperback, by the way. Uh, when a twenty four year old Susanna Callahan woke up alone in a hospital room, strapped to her bed and unable to move or speak, she had no memory of how she got in there. Days earlier, she had been on a threshold of a new adult life. At the beginning of her first serious relationship and a promising career at a New York newspaper. Um, now she was labeled violent, psychotic, a flight risk. What happened? In the swift and breathtaking narrative, Susanna tells an astonishing true story of her descent into madness, her family's inspiring faith in her, in the life-saving diagnosis that nearly didn't happen. A in quotes, a fascinating look at the disease that could have caused this vibrant, young, vital, young woman her life. End quote. And then people in italics, I'm assuming that's People's Mag People Magazine. Um, Brain on Fire is an unforgettable exploration of memory and identity, faith and love, and a profoundly compelling tale of survival and perseverance that is destined to become a classic. So that's the synopsis. Uh, let's let me cover some things I liked about the book. Um, it is fifty-two chapters and two hundred and fifty-two pages, if I'm not mistaken. Yep. Um, one thing I liked about it, speaking of the chapters, is that the chapters are very, very brief. So uh, let me see when this one ends. Uh, okay. Well, let me just use two hands here. Okay, so this one is four pages front and back. Yeah, four pages front and back. This is chapter nine. Then, like, chapter. Let me skip to a random one. 25 is one, two, three pages front and back. So, for the most part, all, if, or most, if not all of them, are 10 pages or uh, below. So. <clears throat> Uh, one of the things, one of the reasons I like that the uh, chapters are brief are that uh, whenever you're reading it, it really makes you want to grind out to the next chapter. It's, it allows it to become the page turner that it is. Uh, and that's not the only reason, obviously. It's a very compelling and interesting story with very descriptive narrative, which is why, you know, I'm always flipping through it. But, um, but um, the fact that the chapters are short it makes you really want to read it because, you know, you get to a chapter, then you're like, you know what, I'm tired, but the next one's only a few pages later, so let me read that one, and vice versa, and not vice versa, and um, etc. So you keep going with that mindset, and before you know it, you're done with the book. Um, so uh, I apologize if I sound a bit groggy. It's like 2.30 a.m. or something. I just came back from being out with my friends. So, um, but yeah, uh, another reason I like it is that she, this girl knows how to write, obviously. I mean, she had a job, has a job, I, don't, I think, and I'm pretty sure she's still working for them, at the New York Post, um, writing specifically. And uh, it's very, it's a, it's a very uh, digestible book. It's very easy to read. It's uh, very easy to comprehend what is going on in the book at all times. Uh, 
very descriptive, very beautiful, beautifully written. Um, and it has an impact. You know, um, this book, uh, thanks to her case, specifically in her life, thanks to, uh, obviously unfortunate that she had to go through it and so many people are going through what she went through. Um, but it is fortunate in the case, in the sense that it kind of helped elevate the, uh, the situation more. So it brought awareness to this, uh, diagnosis that she had. <clears throat> so thanks to that, many more people are getting recognized with having the same thing she had. And, uh, in that sense, it is, uh, a major contribution to the field of psychology and the medical field. Um, it's a very, very powerful book. So I'm going to give it a, from zero to five, uh, I'll give it four and a half stars. Uh, so the reason being the four mainly comes from, uh, how well written and how, uh, how, how, uh, interesting it was to me at least. Um, and the extra half comes with the impact that the book has had. Um, this book is kind of a collage, uh, not a collage, but like a, um, uh, collection rather of, uh, all of the things she remembers, which is very limited because of her, uh, situation in the book and the plethora amount of sources that she was able to find with her parents and nurses and videotapes and stuff like that. Um, so it's very, very interesting. Um, what else was I going to say? So it had an impact. So that's where that extra half star comes in. Um, but yeah. I, am, I think that pretty much concludes everything. I think that's everything I wanted to say about the book. Uh, I'm going to loan this book to a friend of mine. Um, I was talking to her about it, and she's very interested in psychology. And I read this for class, but had I not read it for class, I probably would have picked it up on my own. It's really, really good. Um, so that's here for her whenever uh, she's ready to come and pick that up. So thank you guys for watching. Uh, I'll be reviewing more books in the future. Um, I don't know if I mentioned this, but this is a memoir. I have another memoir here by Bill Kreutzmann that I plan on reviewing, which I also read. 